Okay, so we made it by getting a motor and then like a fan and then just putting that on so it made it so the air was pushing towards this. This is just a servo motor with like popsicle sticks and rings on the side that will pick up the water and then the fa air from the fan will push out and make bubbles sometimes. And what is the Arduino code doing? That The Arduino code is telling the servo motor how fast to move. And in the glove, when the wires are all connected, and when you move like the flex on this, it will hit the servo. Nice. Then, once it gets to be noticeable, it turns green, then yellow, then red, then blue, and also it flashes to the noise, so it flashes to the beat. Now, this shows all the colors, but what, if this is showing green, it'll show green here and here. It's yellow, yellow here and here. Red, red here and here, and blue, same. So, yeah. So these, the red pin, the green pin, and the blue pin, those, show, those are for the RGB, as you can see right here. We ended up not using the threshold, but we downloaded this code originally from the site. We didn't really use it because it didn't work with our setup. Uh, then volume, that's what we're using as the variable of the input. So volume is defined in the loop as analog read 5, which is reading what the microphone is putting out. And this just says that everything it shows what we're using. Now each time it shows... Gary Puke is our variable for the divisor because we couldn't think of anything else. So and Gary was sick. Yeah, he felt sick, so we named that. So if the volume divided by our divisor right now, we have it at one. And then these values just make it so that this is green and yellow, then red, then blue. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have to plug in the battery. And then it works through. So, um, first, the ultrasonic sensor measures how far away you are. And then from that, it gives an output. And based on what that output is, it will search through the like, music library that it has and play a different pitch. So, yeah. Okay, now it's working good. Okay, so that's how it works. Our machine that chain uh, that turns linear motion to rotating motion, or it can work the other way around too. And we're thinking about using it for our um, sculpture. Yeah, sculpture. Genetic sculpture. To print out a message. Great, thank you. Oh, yeah.